Hello and welcome to DM United. I'm Spug and it's a very exciting day because we have got some new Dice Masters product to bring you. You may be aware that the Secret War set is about to be unleashed upon the world. And not only does it bring a whole new ream of cards, but it's also ushering in new card designs, which is, well, just really thrilling if you are a long-term Dice Masters player or even a new Dice Masters player because we've basically had the same design pretty much since day one. So it's really cool that we've got some new designs to look forward to. But not only have we got new card designs, we've also got some new types of products. And what we're going to be showing off now is these Origin Packs, which are new kind of starter sets, if you like, for people who are just starting out the game and who need some of the basic bits and bobs to actually get you going when you want to play a game of Dice Masters. Because you may be aware that Dice Masters are generally only available now in draft packs which don't contain the basic action dice, the sidekick dice and all the, the other gubbins that you need to get going when you want to play a game of Dice Masters. So WizKids have decided to use this moment to launch these Origin Packs and they come in two flavours. A, a blue one with Groot on the front and a pink one with a picture of... Oh, is it Spider-Gwen? Yeah, I think it's Spider-Gwen. And inside there's everything that one player needs to get cracking. So we're going to have a little look inside these boxes, see what we can find in case you're wondering if this is going to be something for you. So without any further ado, let's crack out the scissors. This is going to be giving people conniptions probably seeing scissors anywhere near a box of dice but my fingers probably won't get it open otherwise here we go off with the cellophane and here it is it looks better already doesn't it without the um without the sticky bits on let's see if we can get this open good grief this is painful all right one thing i'm surprised about actually is the size of the box because I kind of thought it was going to be bigger but when I actually saw it it's quite a bit smaller than I was anticipating and there's loads of stuff in here in the, oh we got none of those little things okay so well first up let's keep that until later there's a bit of card you don't really want that there here is a little rule book which is pretty nifty. A nice picture of Doctor Doom on the front. How to play the game. I suspect this has gone through numerous iterations. You know, Dice Masters Origin Pack contains everything you need to start playing an introductory version of Dice Masters against someone with a different Origin Pack. Blah, blah, blah. And here you go. Here's a nice talking about what the cards look like, how they work, what all the bits on them mean. The main step, all the rules that have gone through various clarifications and things over the years. Um, that is the rule book. Other things to remember, these rules are intended to get you playing as quickly as possible. Yeah, there's probably a few more rules that you'll need before you can get fully going. Okay, here are the dice. Now what we've got here is some basic action dice. Now there's lots of basic action dice there so it comes in two colours basically we've got what even is that kind of a bluey green sort of colour and then a yellow so obviously you do need four of these when you're playing a game but generally each player can bring two each so that's the basic action dice then you've got the sidekick dice well that's interesting there's only six. Oh no I've dropped some <laughs> there's one there oh and there's one still in the bag oh, I am hopeless I was thinking oh crumbs this could be a total design for if they've only given you six starter dice or maybe there's something that we don't know about the game of Dice Masters in terms of the way that it's changed. But there's the new psychic dice. These are yellow and kind of black. I'm trying to get them on the camera sort of bluey black. 
stick those down there. And then we also have some character dice. And this is the two characters that we've got here. Just stick those down there as well. Because these are unique. Um, these are unique characters. In fact, the back of the cards has been redesigned. Now, that's something I didn't know was coming. Now, that's pretty cool. Look at that. These are these are the uh, the new dice card back because this has been the the dice the card back for ever since the game began. Now, it's always looked like that, and now it looks like that. It's gone much more sci-fi. And a little bit more exciting. And then these are the new cards. These look so good. So this has got some basic action indicator cards. So you know to go with that. Blue to go with that. Then it has two basic actions themselves. Wallop, which is um, a reprint of a previous one. In fact, in fact, fair enough. Here's the one I've just showed you. This is Wallop, um, the old one. Um, Looks like the thing doing something pretty scary there. KO target level one character die, and if it rolls a burst, a double burst face instead, KO target level one or level two character die. And then it has a global pair fist target block character die, deals no damage. That's been a widely used, in an over crushing meta, that's been a widely used card that has. Then we have Locked in Combat, which is a new basic action. Target character die from each player's field target character die from each player's field zone and set them aside until the end of turn. Then they return to the field zone, deal each two damage. Then these are the characters. So we've got here we've got Groot. Oops, let me see if I can line that up properly. Um, Bark and fight. When fielded, select a target character die. It can't block this turn. When fielded, target character die can't block this turn. And you can see these are the level maybe one, two, three, like that. These are three cost shield. And it says in here, this is the common, so they've changed the the um, instead of having the stripes that denote the rarity, now you've got the little box in the bottom left hand corner, it's a C with a grey thing. And then this is Goddess of Thunder, Stormborn. When fielded, reroll X target character dice, where X is equal to the number of active Thor characters in your field zone. It includes Goddess of Thunder, multiple dice of the same character, only counts as one. So yes, it's reusing the old Storm dice. Actually, I think I said at the beginning it was a Storm. Obviously, it's not Storm. It's a different character. Now, I'm not particularly familiar with that lore, so I don't know. Um, it's some different iteration, I guess not, but um, but yeah, those are looking absolutely great. And the other thing you get in here is a little planet to the world's smallest play mat, which is showing you, and it's still <laughs> cut. So this is showing the different areas. So you could use this to start playing a game if you didn't have your own mat or anything like that. It's got the field zone. It's got the reserve pool, it's got the KO, it's got the prep area. Still got the mystifying dice bag area, which was on the original mats that were printed, and I don't think anybody knows what actually that's supposed to be used for. And then it's got the use pile over here. No transition though, so WizKids is not entering in the debate whether the the, use part, the transition should go at the top, but the out of play area should go at the top or the bottom. And then you have that. So that's everything that's in that one particular pack. I'm just now going to move to open the other one. This is getting really messy. Today I can tell I wasn't very good at keeping my room tidy when I was younger. Now this is the other one, which has got Spider Gwen and Spider Man as the two characters. So this is basically going to have the same the same thing except the 
the, the psychic dice are obviously going to be a different colour, and the characters that are in here are going to be a different colour. So let's just quickly wrap that open. Can we get that all out? There's the dice. So there you can see this. These ones are kind of really cool, kind of hot pink and black, which looks great actually on the psychic dice. Then the Spider Quen dice, classic Spider Man 0331441555 stat line. And then these black and pink basic actions. We've got the same rule book. That and then here are the cards. This is Spider Gwen, the spectacular. Can't get it out of the bag. There we go. Spider Gwen, the spectacular. These cards are looking great. She's a three cost bolt when fielded, deal five damage to target character die. Spider Gwen can't attack the turn they are fielded. Select a single die to target when you use this ability, and then it's got a global pair bolt. If target die deals combat damage to your opponent, put it in your bag instead of the use pile. Pretty cool, and she's got no fielding costs whatsoever. She's got pretty good stats as well. She's a 0 4 6 on level 3, so she's pretty cool. And then Spider Man looking good in his black costume. He's got the fist. Oh, the other thing to mention actually is the fact that the the energy type of each character is also denoted by a different colour. So you'll see in these other ones that we've got here, um, the mask characters are now that kind of purpley red colour. Shield characters are blue, and bolts are red. Fists are now green, I suppose a hulky green. Spider-Man can block an additional character die. Spider-Man's controller deal is how to spot, split, split the attack damage. He's pretty good. And then we've got, obviously, the indicator cards. A couple of basic actions. The Daily Bugle, four cost, draw two dice, prep up to two of them, place zero, one, or two in the prep area, roll the remainder. It's kind of a good ramping type basic action. And then escape. Another great picture, Mr. Fantastic there. Three costs, choose one. Target character die can't be targeted this turn. Select a single die to target when you use this ability or prep a die from your used pile or place it in your prep area. That's escape. So that's basically what you get in these origin packs. Everything that one player needs to get going, even got a little rule book, <laughs> the world's smallest mat, which is pretty cool. But those are going to be great. They're available for, I think, about £7 in the UK, probably a similar amount in the US and other territories. But yeah, those are coming out, I think, in the 12th of April, which is pretty soon, 12th of April in the US. We're not quite sure when it will be in Europe, hopefully towards the end of uh, April, or maybe um, a little bit later. But we will see. Well, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed having a look into those origin packs. We have got other stuff that we'll be bringing you on the DM United channel, so do keep a lookout for future Secret Wars related action. Thanks for joining us, and goodbye. Oh, but wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, we need to do a post credit scene, don't we? It's a Marvel thing. Let's do a post credit scene. And actually what I've got here is a Secret Wars draft set. A box of draft boosters. So again, thank you a million times to WizKids for sending us this preview product. I'm just going to pop open one of these draft packs now just to see what we've got inside. This is, um, this is very exciting. Yeah. In the set. In the box, you get eight draw packs. So I'm just going to pop one out, one at the back. There we go. Here's the draft pack itself with the new designs.
designs. Showing the new characters. And these draft packs are basically used to design, as the game suggests, to be used for live in person drafts. Obviously, WizKid started doing this, well, when the pandemic was on. They sort of moved away from the collector's boxes, which did used to give all the sort of starter dice and stuff, and moved back to the draft pack model because people said they liked drafting. But then the pandemic hit, which obviously has been affecting a lot of in-person play but now things are receding we can get a bit more in-person play so here's a here's a draft pack let's have a look at what we've got inside whoa okay so dice wise well i know who he is i know uh, you've got mr fantastic i think got star lord and you've got that's Doctor Doom, isn't it? There or someone similar? I think that's Terax, Doctor Strange, the new Wolverine. I imagine that's probably Jimmy Woo. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Jimmy Woo. Right. Well, let's see what cards we've got. Here, shall we? Little indicator card tells you energize our oh, epic basic actions. That's a new thing. Epic basic actions and their effects can't be copied. You can only use only use or purchase one epic basic action per turn. After using an epic basic action, return it to its card. You can't purchase an epic basic action unless you have an active character with purchase cost four or greater. And that is a new way of playing the game. And there's some big epic basic actions that have already been spoiled. And it gives us some of these things. Oh, that's Thor Core. Okay, that one. Yeah, Shield. Many of these we've seen before, Spider Friends, Fantastic Four, pretty cool, okay, so what have we got? Now these are in cellophane, I don't remember these being in cellophane before. How do you get it open without doing any, any terrible damage to the card? That's going to really upset people. I don't want to damage any of the cards inside. Now, talking of epic, epic basic action, here's one straight away. This is the Cosmic Cube. And I cannot get the cellophane off. Oh my days. There we go. So in each draft pack, you get three basic actions. And this is Cosmic Cube. Epic basic action costs six, so it only looks like it only hosts one die. And it says, switch life totals with your opponent. Now that could be absolutely game-breaking. Pretty situational, <laughs> but pretty interesting and pretty major. And we've got Escape, we've already seen that. Oh, and the Beyonder, yes. Talking of Secret Wars, there's the man behind it all. The Beyonder, basic action, forecast, reroll two target character dice and gain a life. That could be very annoying for your opponent. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, it's Falcon. Okay, of course, that one is Falcon. This, so let's start with the commons. Falcon, he says, sees a three cost. Fist, team watch, prep a sidekick from your use pile. And global, Pair fist, once during your turn, each player must field a sidekick from their use pile if able. Yeah, now there's an old ability that we haven't seen since, was it White Tiger? There's an old one from a long time ago. Oh, there's the Doom, so that's uh, that's called God Emperor Doom, six cost, shield. When fielded, Deal three damage to target character die and re-roll target character die. That could be really irritating. Oh, and the Invisible Woman. Here she is, actually in person. Her first ever appearance in Dice Masters. Living proof that she did finally make it into the game after the other three members of the Fantastic Four appeared right back in the very first set. But she didn't. Now she's finally made it into the game. And she's... A two cost mask, invisible woman, gets plus one attack for each of your other active Fantastic Four dice. And pay one mask, target character die, must block this turn, yes. That's a popular. And 
a very useful global. Jimmy Woo, here he is, the common two cost shield, uh, two cost bolt. Jimmy, Jimmy Woo can't be targeted by opposing effects. This is the Terex. When fielded, roll two dice from your bag. He's a five cost though, and he is expensive on the field in front, so that would be tricky. Oh, so wait a minute, that wasn't Mr. Fat. Uh, Mr. Fantastic, this one. This is the Maker, this common. Three cost mask, stretchy twisted. When the Maker is blocked, you may spin this die to the level of the blocking character die. And he's actually got some, he's got those Mr. Fantastic type stats with very big defense. Very cool. Oh, and there's Wolverine, deadly. At the end of a turn, KO all character dice that were engaged with this character. It's got slightly peculiar art. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of that. But um, this is one I think we originally spoiled some while ago. Slicing off is it Deadpool's arm or something like that. Oh, and then Molecule Man. He is a very powerful character in the comics, but he's a three cost shield. He's got a 0 1 1, a 0 2 2, and then a 2 5 5 stat line, which is intriguing. He says deadly. Oh, and he's got this, the Robin Global, pay a, pay a shield, the first character you field this turn is free to field. Yes, that's good. Very helpful, particularly when you've got some big fielding costs like that. And then Sheriff Strange, interesting. Five cost mask, when Sheriff Strange is active, when you use an action die, your character dice get plus one attack this turn. He's got those big fat, Strangey stats, although the level one is very low. Oh, and there's a silver, but this is a shiny. You probably can't see this very well on the on the um, on the camera, but that's actually a shiny one. Star Lord, Team Watch target character die gets plus two attack. And then here comes a rare Captain Britain. Oh, that's what Captain Britain is. Yeah, a five cost mask. When Captain Britain is active, when you use an action die, the next die you purchase this turn costs two less. Interesting if you're going action heavy. And then the final one is a rare as well. No super rare in this set. This is actually a shiny one too. This is another version of Goddess of Thunder, Sovereign of Asgard. When rolled it, when fielded, roll X dice from your bag deal X damage to target character die where X is equal to the number of active Thor core character dice in your field zone. Pretty cool. All right, well, there's some great stuff there. Okay, well, that's the little bonus at the end of our video. A bonus Dice Masters draft pack Secret Wars opening. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you saw some interesting stuff in there. Hope you enjoyed looking at the origin packs what do you think of them are they really helpful have you got people in your area who want to learn dice masters and you think and do you think this will help expand the game we certainly hope so huge thank you again to WizKids for sharing this advanced product with us and we'll see you again soon bye